Yo, yo, yo. Okay, so I'm actually like arguing, like not really arguing, more kind of, I guess, debating slash arguing with, um, I've been arguing with this person like all day today, like between classes and stuff, like bringing out my cell phone and seeing what they replied. Um, and then I guess, it, I guess it started like, last night, maybe? Was it last night? Maybe. I think it was yesterday, actually, that this started. But, um, basically, what we're arguing about is the nature of homosexuality. Now, I'm arguing with about two people actively, and then, like, a couple others, like, they ch chime in every once in a while. Um, one of the people I'm arguing with is actually kind of clever. Like, I think he's a little bit smarter than than the other one. The other one is sort of nothing against him, but he's coming off as rather dumb. Um, he's coming off, and I might actually make a video about my, like, theory about people who make these kinds of arguments. I actually, I will, but uh, he's doing what I, th what I call operating in the spirit of fear. So, um, it, it, that kind of thing s tends to, like, make you make a lot of irrational arguments. Like, I was explaining about, you know, all different scientific studies that have shown this, shown that, you know, and the medical opinion of all the major psych uh, psychological organizations worldwide, what has been observed in the animal kingdom, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And he just goes, you're a socialist. Well, that wasn't his word, but he was just like, well, this is all part of the, you know, the gay socialist agenda, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm like, okay, well, first of all, that ha whether or not I was a socialist doesn't really have anything to do with this argument at all. Like, I don't, I, I, I don't understand that, and it's not just him, like, a lot of people, like, I could be arguing about, we, I could be having an argument about, you know, is it okay to have premarital sex with someone, and as soon as they start to feel like, you know, they're not convincing me, they'll be, like, socialist, and I'm like, okay, that's, you know, an economic ideology, who fucking gives a shit, it has nothing to do with anything, like, it doesn't have anything to do at all, with the argument at hand. So it just makes the person sound kind of like an idiot. And I'm, yeah, I'm fixing my makeup in the car also at the same time. Um, okay, so the other guy I'm arguing with, I don't, I, I must have hit a nerve with him because he decided to go the reparative therapy route with me. And I'm kind of wondering, by the way, if, if, I don't think I come off as, like, a lesbian or anything, but, um, I'm not. I mean, I'm married to a guy. I, I, I like, uh, <laughs> if I just said, I'm strictly dickly. <laughs> That's the sound so perverted. <laughs> um, anyways, um, because I'm not, and I guess I think I might actually share this video with him, let him know, like, you, you know, you don't need to, like, love win out with me. That's it's not necessary, and besides, you really can't. Um, speaking about reparative therapy programs, um, okay, so here it goes. I'm just going to say, I'm going to make some of my more conservative friends angry, like really angry, but I'm just going to say it. Um, those Exodus International, Love Wins Out, all those We Can Cure You of Being Gay organizations, uh, first of all, they don't fucking work, all right? They don't work. Second of all, they largely engage in in abuse. It's it's you're paying someone to brainwash you, to convince you something that is completely opposite of what your reality is. And the fact is is that their reality of being gay is a perfectly legitimate reality, and they shouldn't be forced to change it just so other people can feel better about it. Like, they didn't do anything wrong by being gay. They didn't wake up one morning and say, let me give this gay shit a try, you know? Like, like, no one did that. No one ever, 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 ever wanted to to be this way. They can't really change it, you know? I'm, I know that they can't help who they love. They can help how they love. However, what people are asking of them is incredibly unfair. It's not... A reasonable request and I don't think that we should ask that of people who are gay I think that we should let gay people be gay um, they're not hurting anybody look if you think it's wrong that's your business but you know what I think honestly I think a lot of things are wrong I think adultery is wrong 
but I can't, you know, go around and stop people from being adulterers. You know, I think, uh, there's a lot of things that are wrong. There are people who are addicted to gambling, for example, people who are alcoholics, you know, uh, I can't legislate that away. You know, at some point, I think that we, we have to all take a responsibility for ourselves and even though I don't think it's wrong to be gay, um, I don't believe God makes any mistakes. So if they if he made them gay, that's what they're supposed to be. Um, so there, there, I went ahead and say it, said it. That said, moving right along from there, what I, I will say is that, um, you know, those reparative gay therapy camps and organizations and, and all that, there have been so many, like so many, you can just look them up, cases of so much abuse. Like literally that same exact organization that he mentioned to me, like on top of the fact that like one of their big, like main leader guys was actually found out to be like living a double life. And that's happened a lot, by the way. A lot of these guys who say that, guys and women who say that they have been fixed, they've been repaired, Mm, they be slipping and sliding and doing stuff on the side. And because, you know what, you can't really fix it. I mean, I, I don't think you really can. Did I hit that? Is it going still? Oh, it is. Okay. Um, and so that's the first thing is like all the different, you know, examples of people who it's failed for. Um, they won't even tell you their success rate or their failure rate. Like if you go to their website, Ex- Exodus International, for example, they just give you like a few paragraphs of existential bullshit instead of answering the question. In fact, they do that for a lot of things. Like you ask, can, what is the, you know, success rate? And they just have a couple like, well, it does some, like you don't know all that. You could have just said three words. We don't know. And you know why you don't know? It's because the shit don't fucking work. It just doesn't. And what they don't tell you is that most people who go through these programs just wasted their parents' money or wasted their grandparents or whoever or their own money. And they are back to being just as gay as they can be a year later. <laughs> That's what happens. All right? Um... And yeah, they're always going to be, you know, I guess a few who are able to like mind ninja themselves into thinking that they're straight. But, um, and like they even tell you that, you know, you're going to have to struggle with this for the rest of your life. Like, well, obviously you're struggling with it because you're fighting against what's, what actually you were meant to be. Like you can't, it'd be like, like I said, it'd be like trying to make someone be gay against their will and making them struggle with it their entire effing life. It's just insane you can't fucking fix it it is what it is let them be what they are um they also you know exodus international like one of their counselors just in 2007 raped a um someone who was looking for help yeah that just google that shit man like fucking google it like google it right now like 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 right now like seriously like there have been so many abuses. Um, there's been cases, and the, people still try this, like shock therapy to ungayify people. Like, like it's just insane. Like, you can't undo it, and you've wasted all this time, effort, and money, and all you've done is make this person feel even worse about themselves. Like it's, it's a recipe for disaster, and especially it's always run by people who are quote-unquote ex-gay so I'm like oh great it's run by someone who's already psychologically damaged to be fucking begin with and this person is trying to help someone else are you kidding me like really like (laughs) that's just insane like would you let a schizophrenic be my be your psychologist no, you wouldn't. So why would you let someone who is already fucked up and brainwashed to do something that, that's completely outside of their own brain chemistry to try this? Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Anyways, I'm just going to throw that out there. I felt like I should... I guess people now are going to know that that I, I am part of the pro-gay socialist agenda. <laughs> Maybe I'll wake up tomorrow and try this lesbian shit out and just kick the husband out and see what he says. Um... <laughs> Ah! Anyways, all right. Well, um, I'm not part of the pro gay. Well, I'm part of pro gay, but not part of the socialist agenda. And I'm not. Um, I'm not going to experiment with being a lesbian, because well, I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> all right. Well, bye.